Hey guys, so we will talk about Canva borders. So, do you know that in Canva, you can come up with an image with no background on it, and then you can also outline a border into your into that image. So before that can be only done via Photoshop, but in Canva it is super possible right now. And I will also cover um, how you can also add a border if it is a text text font or something. So if you are interested on that kind of tricks and tips, then stay tuned because I'm gonna show you how. One, two, three. Hey guys, so another Canva hacks, tips and tricks, and today I'm gonna show you how you can put a borders into your images and into your graphics and into your text, okay? So we will also add a little bit of twist on our borders later. So I'm gonna start first with a picture, like putting a borders into your picture. I'm like, let's just grab some few graphics in here and then let's just put some a little bit of okay like i want to add a little bit of filter over there and then let's try to look for a person so this one may be we can use her she looks so happy so yeah so first is let's delete the background Okay, and then um, to add a border into this image, what you can do is to, okay, so apply, and then what you can do is to go at the bottom part and look for the, and look for the shadows options. Okay, you click this one. And then you need to make sure that the blur is set to zero because we don't want to put a blur into our border. So uh, transparency should be 100%. We want it to be 100% not transparent, okay? And we want to um, add a volume to our size. And then I'll add a color white. Maybe, yeah, we can add a color white to that part. And then when I also have a borders into my um, Canva, uh, into my picture, I always love to put a drop as well, like a background shadow. So uh, again, similar with the glow shadow effect, you can still, um, you can also put some, like you can adjust the settings over there. So if you notice here, like I really love, really, I really love putting glow or borders into my images to help the highlight or to help the um, focal point pop up. Okay, so now let's jump into text. So I have this text over here. Uh, maybe let's change this one to color yellow. And then um, what you can do here in order to come up with a border design into your Canva because in the text, I don't think they have these options to put a border into your text. They have this splice and hollow effect and shadow thing, but you cannot um, you cannot achieve the border effect that you um, want. So, but first, let me just make this one a little bit cursive so it has um, oh, it's just too much for me. So anyway, so. Um, we have this design and then I need this to be, I need to download this for first as transparent and a PNG format. So transparent, oops, I forgot. Let me just remove this. I should only download the page too. Okay, download. And then once it's ready downloaded, um, remove that again. And then go to the upload section, upload media, add heading, put it it backed. And similar to what we do in the image, you can click the um, edit image and then go to the shadow, um, go to the glow thing and adjust the design. 
So that's it. That's it. Super easy to do, right? We can always interact that. That's the only disadvantage that I am seeing on the font size in Canva. But if you don't really use this often, like Canva has a lot of text, like text effects that definitely can make your um make your design super cool like under this part under effects there is a shadow there is a lift there is a hollow there is a slice echo neon and glitch and you can still um also adjust or come up with a curve effect into your canva into your text rather so the workaround or the closest effect on this um, border thing in canva is this one the uh, glitch thing but it it really doesn't um it really doesn't get or or achieve the border text effect in canva so you that's why you need to download it as png and then you need to upload it and add and effects so that's it guys i hope you find it valuable and if you have any questions don't forget to leave me a message thank you